All right, we got ourselves a park model. I love park models just because they're, they're so much like a home. Oh, they are. You know? yeah. And when you look outside, you, you feel like for new folks, we have to explain why it's so different. Obviously, the front is not very aerodynamic because you're not driving it down the road on a regular basis. Oh, no. You're basically, this is basically a uh, camper brick yeah. is what I describe it, or a <laughs> railroad car. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You take it and park it. Another reason they have uh, these types of steps is because instead of having the nice steps, a lot of people will buy these park them for good and then put like a really nice i've seen some really nice decks on these oh, things yeah. yeah decks that seem probably almost as expensive as the the rv itself yeah i mean really nice yeah now yeah. we'll introduce this camper some of you may already be uh, asking where has this camper been at uh this is the 2023 wildwood grand lodge 42 view or view we call it um brand new to the market it is super popular it's awesome 45 feet long dual loft uh hundreds of windows in this camper it's yeah, awesome the front this is i mean not the front yeah. but the the entry into this looks awesome with those those windows up there just yep. yeah it looks fantastic so uh, of course this rail right here you do get a nice little table out here so that way when you are in the kitchen you can serve anybody on the outside set that drink right there walk up and grab it from nice out here and again i for, took me a second took me a second i had to remember what i just talked about you're like what in the world are you doing with the table clear up here but again you put in a, a deck that comes to here that's at perfect yep, height perfect height. so they really do expect people to yep. to add on to this with a deck because yeah, they're not they're not expecting the average person to tow this to the local campground where your spots are 20 to 35 feet and put this monstrosity of a 45 foot camper there mm -hmm. every weekend yeah okay so, so you got your speakers out here. Yep. Again, you have yourself a nice little deck out here. This is a party place. Huge awning with LED under under lighting, and they even with you could tell how big this awning is because of that middle support there. It's got a, it's got a support in the middle. Yep. Yeah. So yeah, but yeah. enough talking about the outside. You're not here to look at that. Let's right. check out the inside. We're gonna go this way or that way. Uh, well, I'll meet you in the middle. Okay, right, sounds good. <laughs> I haven't seen inside this yet. I've been told about it earlier. I'm wow. Look at that. Come on. Are you serious? Yeah. This is sweet. Wow. Like a spiral staircase inside this thing. Mm -hmm. And then you, you mentioned dual loft out there. I didn't know exactly what you were talking about. Yep. This is, this is cool. I love this. All right, let's talk about the, the living room first, and then we'll get to this up here. All Even right. the living room. That Look at that. So I'll we'll start over here. You have, of course, your massive L-shaped couch. Lots of storage behind it, actually. So they put a nice little cubby here to hide anything in. Of course, you have your little center sofa here to hide all your uh, goodies in. Nice. Uh, that these three cushions of the couch fold out into a bed. Okay. Full size queen bed. So basically, you have yourself a full size bed here to uh, watch any kind of movies. Uh, and of course, you love the, the, the televator. televator. Oh yeah. Where's the button? Is it over here? No. Oh. Hold on, I forgot where all the switches are, so we'll get to those in a second. Okay. Uh, solid surface countertops throughout this entire camper. And look uh, at this, come on. These are your That's bench seating awesome. for all your seating here. They're uh, fastened in, but yeah, you sit. this is a counter, like you sit in it. You don't, mm -hmm. I mean, your feet are underneath the thing. Wow. Uh, of course, full-size pantry there behind you. Automated lights, of course, throughout. Uh -huh. And this is all one master slide. There's only one slide in the whole, or two slides, one in the bedroom, I'm sorry. Okay. Um, Man. Full size appliances, three burner cooktop, full size microwave, full size refrigerator. Uh, basically a home away from home. If you go vacation on this thing, you're gonna feel like you're right back at home. Let me ask a question I've never asked before in a park model. Mm -hmm. uh, you take this and you park it and leave it for good. Mm -hmm. Is it necessary or is it recommended, like if you open a slide to outside where it's it's out, propping mm -hmm. something underneath there to just support it a little bit so it's not just hanging out? Does that make sense? Or? So you don't have to. Of course, it's recommended to help keep the stuff off those uh, components so that way over time it doesn't wear them down and okay. stuff like that. But okay. yeah, you don't have to, but yeah, it just depends on who you talk to, what gotcha. they recommend. That. Okay. But yeah, I always recommend it to my people just to help keep the weight off those components and cool. kind of like the suspension on your car. Eventually, over time, it will sag. Gotcha. And... Okay. Now, uh, you had asked about the televator, and I'm going to have the cameraman stand over there. So, the reason I'm having you stand over there is you got all these nice fancy switchboards aside from the main switchboard and say, I want the TV to go up. 
Then I'm going to turn off all the other ones. Press this button. TV goes up over there. Nice. Now, of course, I'm going to try to romance my wife, and I'm going to get her all in the mood. And uh, <laughs> I want to uh, lower the shades. You know, it's it's a little bright out right now. So I'm going to turn my TV off, turn on all my shades. I'm going to lower them to all oh, that one Oh, come time. on. That is awesome. Holy cow. That's sweet. Like this one back here behind yep, the, that one will get caught one. there because oh. of the TV. And, of course, it's still a little bright in here. I'm going to go ahead and use the light dimmer. I'm going to, if I can get it to work correctly, dim the oh. lights. <laughs> make sure I got Titanic on so that way it's nice and romantic. Yeah. But you can definitely set the mood in this camper. That is sweet. Dang yep. it. This is awesome. Yep. They definitely thought of everything. All of the blinds are on remotes and motors, uh, all controlled by one switchboard, as well as the televator in here. And, of course, you got your sound bar uh -huh. with the fireplace so you can still keep her nice and warm while you're watching the movies. And it looks like it comes with five five stools, mm -hmm. five people around this. Yep. I stink and love this park model. Yep. This is my favorite so far. Yep. Now, of course, uh, it's not just built for uh, you and your wife. It's built uh -huh. for the kids, too. So we'll start yeah. over here by the bathroom. You have your regular staircase just like every other loft model. But right below it, you have... The vacuum, oh, the ready vacuum. back system, yeah. so easy cleanup and everything. Now I'm 6'2", about 300 pounds. I'm a little bit bigger than you are. But this is a full-size loft, and you can fit two full-size adults up here. Easy plugs. Yeah. This is great. I'm going to jump up so we can get the camera up here. Plenty of storage on, on both sides, access with these nice little totes that come with yeah, it. Yeah, look at that. Oh my gosh, I love this. Plugs on both sides. Of course, teddy bear mattress, keep it nice and soft, uh, easily clean. And there's a TV spot right over here by my feet. Okay. So you can watch TV while you're up here. This is great. A little curtain right there so you can close it off if you mm -hmm. want to close the kids off a little bit. Wow. Totally digging this. And as the adult, I kind of would want this to be my room. Right? Yeah. Makes you feel like a kid again. Yeah. I, I, I mean,. I am a bit of a child. I'd be the first to admit. Uh, back here, we've got our oh, a step-down bathroom. Wow! Look at this. There's your uh, hookup for your washer and dryer. There's the bucket you get. Nice big shower. A lot of area in here. You can come in here and, and change. You know, you don't have to. You don't have to worry about bumping into things as you change your clothes. You get out there and you're ready to get dressed. Lots of counter space. You get counter space up here. Uh, storage underneath. I am, can you tell I'm really excited about this oh, yeah. park model? Yeah, this is this is cool. This makes me feel like I've never been to a an a uh, like a, an apartment in New York City. Oh yeah. But I've seen plenty of them online, and this that, this reminds me of like a like the nicer hipper ones. Oh yeah. So, yeah. of course, they're thinking about having people over, having that good time. And, you know, I have, you know, two, two of my own kids, two stepkids, so I have to have even more loft space. So they uh -huh. give you a nice spiral staircase, and you can fit three kids or three grown adults wow. on this Oh, that's side. right. It comes clear out to here. Yep. Jeez. So, and, of course, all these curtains, they're not just plastic. They're regular full-size curtains, and they can cover all of these windows the outside door there so you can get even more privacy throughout the entire camper with these cloth curtains yeah yeah that's awesome right they Holy they moly. have really thought about just about everything in this camper i love this let's step down down into the master bedroom yeah and they've great. even thought of mom and dad even more in this camper full-size king bed storage underneath of course Nice big wardrobe over here for all the clothes. Uh-huh. Is that a little fireplace over there? They put a nice ah. little fireplace in here to keep everybody warm. And, of course, that's mom's side of the bed. Yeah. Um, yep. Yeah. Keep you nice and warm, full-size king bed, reading lights, storage above, and nice big view for when you wake up in the morning. Yeah. Big window over here. Wow. Yeah, they, they thought of everything with this camper. All right. I, I got my favorite fifth wheel, which is the River Ranch. Mm -hmm. This is absolutely my favorite park model. Yep. Yep, it is. It is by far my favorite one too. Well, you and, mentioned before we even got in, this was one of the 
the best sellers or the best seller? It, so far, um, it came out, I think, January, February time frame, time frame excuse me, and uh, we have had trouble even keeping them in the stock. Really? Yep. Wow. Yep. They're all pre-ordered, ordered. So if you want one, you better call us and get one Jump on order. On it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Holy moly. And you want one. Oh. If you're thinking about a park model, this is the one to go for. Oh, my gosh. This is cool. Yeah. I stink and love this thing. And I didn't even notice like the way this is the this is set up here on the end. It just looks. This is cool. This is cool. Wow. Mm-hmm. Wow All is right. the only good word to describe it. Yeah. All right. So uh, do not hesitate. At least if you're thinking about a park model, at least go to RV wholesalers uh, and build build one. Like go over and build it. You'll get a quote. Um, yeah. This is this is stinking sweet. Mm-hmm. I just want to stay here the rest of the show. Yeah. We got to go do more, though. We got to go find movies to watch in this thing. Yeah. Yeah. Some DVDs. Let's do it.